Hello, and welcome back to another video. Today I will give a quick introduction about plots in R. Please do me a huge favor and uh, click the subscribe button below this video to make future videos possible. And uh, let's get started. First, we need some data that we can plot. So I will use one of the pre-installed data frames of R. And uh, to see what we have in store there, we can just type in data, an opening bracket and a closing bracket. and. Uh, yeah, here it opens a window here on the top. I will make this a little larger, where you can see all the pre-installed data frames that come with the installation of R in R Studio. So, for example, here we have the name and then a short description. So, Air Passengers has the monthly airline passengers numbers between 1949 and 1960. And uh, there's also a very cool one I don't want to withhold from my viewers. That's the tooth growth data frame, which, uh, yeah, is a data frame about the effect of vitamin C on tooth growth in guinea pigs. So uh, this was probably subject to an incredibly vital study and I will definitely use this data frame in one of my future videos. But uh, for today I want to look at another data frame and that's the empty cars data frame. So uh, if you see here this is a data frame uh, which has some properties uh, of cars so here's the car name and then some properties, for example, miles per gallon, the number of cylinders, and uh, here we have displacement, horsepower, and so on. So now, what you will probably do quite often is uh, you want to display the values of an independent and a dependent variable in the same plot. So for example, you maybe want to test the effect of horsepower uh, on your quarter mile time, which is here represented by the Q-sec. So here this is the number of seconds it took the, the, the corresponding car for a quarter mile. So and you want to maybe test if the horsepower has an effect on this quarter mile time. So uh, what you do to plot this in the same plot, you type plot and then you uh, type your independent variable, so for example horsepower with x equals. This x equals can be omitted, but uh, for the sake of clarity I will now include it. And then you type in empty cars and then a dollar sign in HP. Then a comma and then the dependent variable y equals. So this y equals can uh, also be omitted, but uh, again I will keep it for the sake of clarity. And empty cars dollar sign and then uh, QSEC. Yeah, so we cannot just type HP and QSEC because we need to tell R where it can find where it can find these variables. So uh, we don't have anything in our environment, but these uh, variables HP and QSEC can be found in the data frame empty cars. So that's why I write empty cars, then the dollar sign, and then HP and uh, QSEC accordingly. Uh, we press enter, and the plot will appear. So all the dots here in this plot correspond to a car in our data frame. So if we go up, um, we can see that, for example, this dot here on the far right belongs to the Maserati, because uh, the horsepower of the Maserati is the most of all the cars in our data frame at 335, which is here, uh, of course, greater than 300 on our horsepower scale. Um, but hilariously, uh, although the Maserati has the most horsepowers of all the cars, it has not the fastest quarter quarter mile time. This belongs to the Ford right here, to the Ford Pantera L, uh, which was a little bit quicker on the quarter mile than the Maserati. So uh, this brings us actually to the most burning question of this video. Um, what are all those horsepowers good for if a Ford beats you in a quarter mile race? <laughs> Let me know in the comments what's going on there. But uh, more importantly, however, we can see that the plot as a whole confirms what we might expect about the relationship between horsepowers and quarter mile time. So, because generally speaking, we would expect that the more horsepower a car has, the faster the car is on a quarter mile. Now that we know how to plot the data, uh, let's look at some features of the plot function. So, one thing you might want to do is you want to rename the x and the y axis, because right now the labels here do not make a whole lot of sense. To do that, we type in after our y variable xlab equals to change the name of the x-axis. So for example, I will type in horsepower. And uh, for the y-axis, accordingly, ylab. 
equals and then here I will just type in quarter mile time and yeah this uh, changes uh, as you can see our X and Y labels and uh, if you also want to change the title or you want to create a title for that matter of this plot you can type in main equals and then your title so I will just type in relationship between horsepower and uh, a quarter mile time so you also might want to change your window so if you plot something in R R automatically gives a window that uh, includes all the data points but maybe you want to manually change it so for example maybe you want your y-axis to start at zero and your x-axis as well so to do that you uh, type in x lim equals and then a vector so a lowercase c and then in brackets you type in first the lower bound so for example zero and then the upper bound so for example 400 for our x-axis and uh, similarly for the y-axis with y limb and here I will choose the lower bound at 0 and the upper bound at 25 and uh, yeah you see the window adjusts it does not necessarily mean that you get a better overview of your data but that's just how you change your window next you can also change your graphic symbol of your data so at the moment you can see that there are just circles and to, to change the symbols you can use the command pch equals and here you can just type in a number for example if I type in 2 then these will change to triangles if you want an overview of uh, what symbols you can choose from you can type in question mark pch uh, this will open up this help pane and then you can scroll down to here and here is an overview for all the integers you can type in for pch and their corresponding symbols so for example if I want to have like a solid circle which uh, is small then I type in pch is equal to 20 so let's do that here pch is equal to 20 and yeah then we have solid circles uh, the last thing I want to show you is how to change the color so at the moment your uh, data points uh, have a black color but you can change this with the command so we type in a comma and then col equals and then as a string we type in the color and you have a lot of col colors in R I will use now the color fire brick which is really just a fire color yeah uh, this sums up this video uh, this was merely a short introduction to plots I'm sure a lot of videos will follow about this topic please let me know in the comments what you want to see next um, other than that I hope you enjoyed it it would mean a lot to me if you would leave a like and a subscription. This will also keep me motivated to make more content, uh, as then I know that there is an audience that is interested in these kinds of videos. Uh, other than that, I hope this video was helpful. See you soon and take care. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos in the future. If you would like to support this channel financially, there is a donation link in the description.